Hey guys, I'm Journey on occasion, and today we are carrying on with our uh, Scarlet Bro Hansen. I keep forgetting his name. It's, it's good old Scarbro. Uh, Scarbrand. Anyway, here's a Glixus Doom hat. Uh, we're about to wipe him out this episode, hopefully. Unless, of course, a bear decides to throw a hissy fit and distort reality, um, and then this demon prince can escape through that portal in in a very in a very warhammery kind of way so anyway we'll um we'll hopefully chase him we'll hopefully chase him down and deal with him um so if the chaos rifts do open we're going to be in an interesting we're going to be in a slightly interesting predicament in that um i i have i have nothing defending anything <laughs> Which is something I didn't really consider when I've just been sort of building this gigantic empire and ignoring the consequences. But I mean, uh, our garrisons are great. They're really not. Okay, let's build that infernal citadel up, shall we? Ugh. So yeah, bit of a pickle. Bit of a pickle. I'm glad we did uh, at least get pretty good garrisons in, in some places. But actually, yeah, most places actually. It's just... Um, this province is getting there, and this province hasn't had the chance to develop at all yet. So that's a bit of a pity. Um, in fact, what I might have to do is destroy that. Even though it will affect our income, I don't really care. Um, although, do we need recruitment here? No, not not that sort of recruitment anyway, because that just gets us... Oh, actually, no, because we can't get demons. I guess we'll rely on Warriors of Chaos if we recruit anything here. That's fine. Uh, ah, and I can't really afford to build that. We're going to build a garrison, okay? We're going to build a garrison there. I'm going to build one there, too. All right. That's how we're doing it. Also, I suppose I could upgrade both of these. Well, no, because I can't afford it. Um, but other than that, I could, I could do both of those. Let's attack something. That might help. It'll certainly cheer me up. We can't attack anything this turn, can we? No, we can't. We did all the fighting. Oh, that's awkward. Oh, well, never mind. So, rifts will open. Demons will pour out. Stuff will get blown up. It'll be fine. Like, we have random chances to take over the ruins again at some point anyway, so... The demons will wear themselves out eventually. But, um, as I was going to say, before I panicked and realised I have not protected any of my territory, um, we will be jumping through those, uh, through the rift, um, into the realm of Corn, getting all of the cool bits of, you know, all the cool toys from Corn's realm, bringing them back here, and they will fuel all of our armies um, until we wipe out all life on Earth. Um, it's going to be great. <laughs> so that's the plan. That is the plan, guys. That's the plan. Do I want to upgrade? You know, I don't think I need to upgrade that. That's fine. Let's move on. And yes, we did get attacked. We did indeed. Three of our armies have been attacked by Iglixus Doomhat. That's his name, by the way. It is. You know, see earlier episode for confirmation on that. Um, Alright, do I bother? Do I actually bother? I kind of want my first battle with this guy to be a proper one with, um, you know, Scarbrand versus Iglixus Doom Hat. He's not even wearing a hat, that's why it's funny. But yeah, I kind of I kind of want to fight him like that, so I'm going to allow him to win. We got skulls anyway, because you do just for fighting, which is hilarious. Um, Longship Graveyard's been destroyed, which is nice. I mean, we have destroyed most of the Norsecan factions now. Uh, Stig Ashling is coming for us. Which is apparently going to lead to our defeat, but actually, Marauder Horsemen are quite squishy. Um, the Chariots are going to be a bit of a pain, but again, just Towers should be able to kill most of this stuff. I think we can we can pen in most of this stuff with Flesh Hounds and, and Kale Spawn and stuff and win quite happily. And we have a thousand defensive supplies, so we can build Towers. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to fight this. I think we can win. I think we can defeat this guy, and that'll be the end of his faction, essentially. Actually, it might be the end of his faction. I think he might be all that's left. All right, let's let's try. Let's give it a good, you know, let's give it the college try, as it were. All right, here we are in the gloomiest goddamn map. Do, oh wow. Okay, this is actually kind of cool. I was thinking, what the hell are they thinking? But no, this is awesome. How cool is that? Okay, yeah, I'm really impressed. And this is very cool as well. The fact they've carved these totems for the ships to sail into this just like crappy little port. <laughs> That's really cool. 
And yeah, they got these logs for rolling the uh, ships up here to, uh, I guess, into partly into safety, you know, from from any storms coming in, but also to be rebuilt or whatever. Very cool. Very cool. Unfortunately, I can't see a bloody thing, so that's a bit of a problem. Um, so points for effort. Lose some points for making it impossible to see anything. God, I was with all the spiders. So many spiders. And wow. And all Nurgle. Ugh. So is it Nurgle spiders? Is ugh, is this not webbing? <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, but hey, this is really cool. And this is a weird army to be facing up against. So, you lot. Uh, okay, what? Okay, that's from our, our center point. So that one, getting a decent tower here, is probably a good shout. I don't think I want to go with the piercing towers. Uh, oh, I'm trying to think, really. Um, you know what, I'm going to go with the piercing tower. I think we'll have time to build other... You know what, I changed my mind. Okay, we're going we're gonna to go with a normal tower so we can build two. Alright, we're going to get two built at the start of the of the battle. So which... Hang on, what do I need to protect for this one? That one. Okay, I need to protect this point for that tower. Okay. Okay, where's all the large stuff? Alright, that should be able to get a good shot into that area. Okay, you guys can blockade this rather nicely. Um, you guys all have armor, so I'll put you here. Good. Get my flyers over this side. So like, these guys are going to be a godsend. Oh, not you so much. But these guys are going to be a godsend, because they have mass and they have that anti-large, which is really going to help. Uh, I also have you guys, which have some mass. You'll be able to block in that area. I mean, I know I'm ignoring this for now, but actually I might just have to stuff something in there, huh? Yeah, I might have to. Unless, that's where I want my doggos to run in. That way I can get a cheeky flank. Or if they just try and push in. Like, I'll just attack them. Yeah, that works too, right? Probably. It probably does. <laughs> it probably maybe does. Yeah, I think I'm just going to defend this with my old... I'll just put everything here. Alright. Screw it. Let's try. Let's try. It's not giving me a lot of time for the towers to shoot. And I guess there's another tower here that overlooks this area. Which isn't so bad. Okay, they don't seem to know where the hell they're going. So, yay? Yay, I guess? Uh, can I catch them? Not sure what these guys are doing. Looks like I am catching these guys. No, not quite. Alright, let's get those marauder chariots. You guys running over there. Let's throw everyone in. And okay, looks like they're moving around that way too. So I guess flesh hands are cool. I need to chase them down. Towers are shooting at them, which is something. Those marauder chariots will get taken down. Eventually, probably. Probably eventually. Come on, guys. Get those marauder chariots. I know you can do it. You big scary dog monsters. You'll be fine. I like that these guys don't seem to be shooting backwards either. That's nice. But I don't want to just keep chasing them forever. Alright, that'll do. You guys are just in a pile, but I think that seems to be working in our favor. <laughs> it's hard to say. I really have no idea. Uh, Alright, let's get some more towers built somewhere. Over here, I guess. Hopefully they'll be able to reach us. Alright, these guys next. Guess one of you, yeah, Chaos Warhounds will keep chasing them. So we will get the Horn of Corn at some point, and that will really help in this just... just soup. This, like, troop suit. I really don't know what else to call it. I don't know what else would sound better than that, because troop soup is awesome, and I'm glad I thought of it, but... <laughs> That's how we roll. Okay, troop soup. Troop soup. 
Do 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 do. All right, get you guys. Uh, hey guys, having fun? Ice wolf chariots running away. Oh no, water chariots are coming back. All right, all right, you look over here. Oh, hello, hello. That'll help. Good lads. Uh, yeah, you seem to be doing okay. And you. All right, let's get these ice wolf chariots, shall we? It looks like we killed most of the infantry up here, actually. It seems to just be the... Yeah, actually, the infantry got completely slaughtered by the looks of it. So it is just the big, chunky things in, the, in this troop suit. There we are. Oh, there, yeah, there we go. That's more like it. So I think we've won. We've won quite happily, in fact. Yeah, there we go. Well, that's basically Ashling wiped out. I guess I'll, um... <laughs> I'll leave things running for a second. Yeah, whenever you're ready, guys. Uh, and yeah, we'll leave him to flee. That's fine. It's really just to let the towers blast stuff for a little while. All right. All right, I think that's good enough. Heroic victory. Was it? Was it heroic? So, during the loading screen, there was a um, little, little description of high elves, right? And uh, obviously there aren't high elves as, as a faction in this. There are there is the odd high elf unit. There's like high elf nobles that Cathay could get with their caravans randomly. Uh, but there aren't any high elves kicking around. And I just thought how cool it would be if the if there were a high elf faction that literally just came in from the sea and they would just land somewhere, you know? Like they could just be allied to to if you were playing as one of the sort of forces of good, you know, one of the forces of order, they would just start sailing in and they would just you know, fight your enemies. Uh, they just pick a fight with whoever you're at war with, and maybe they'd make purchase in Norska or something, you know? Or try and help take back some of the Empire or something. But I think it'd be really cool just to have, like, you know, famous allies of the old world actually come in and helping in such a ridiculous time as, you know, the, the events of this story. I think it'd be really interesting. But just the idea of, like, a, a faction starting as just, you know, some some armies at sea, I think would be really cool. Then I guess it has been done before, right? We've had, like, um, in, in the Mortal... Not in the... Was it the Mortal Empires campaign? Well, yeah, it would have been during the Chaos Invasion. We have, like, ships sailing in from the from the south. This used to be. I think they disabled those completely, which I think was a bit sad, but uh, made the made the Chaos Invasion a lot more interesting to have them coming in from more than one angle, but yeah, it was pretty cool. I like that idea, but, you know, positive things as well. Just high elves sailing in to help or whatever. You could even have some more bad guys coming in. You could have Dark Elves coming in as well towards the end of the campaign. Trying to cause more anguish. Could be interesting. But, anyway. Uh, you never know. Maybe in future. So the Doom Harvesters have been killed. Surely a cruel jest. I mean, they do they do like a laugh, don't they? Uh, hang on a minute. Oh, okay, that's further south than, than I thought. So, yeah, okay, I was like, I don't recognise that. <laughs> So we do have the Forbidden Citadel over here, which is in charge of that, apparently. Black Gulch, not actually a ruin. It's full of rats. Yeah, That's going to be an interesting fight. And uh, this guy has no home anymore. It's ridiculous. There were a bunch of demons just stood outside his house, so he wandered off. And so he took his house. <laughs> and then we went back into his house. It's really quite embarrassing for this guy. It really is. So we've got a Cornate Mutant, and oh, the great game. You've got a sense. Nurgle's in Ascendant now. A play has been made in the great game. The new god rises to the fore, achieving ascendancy over his ruinous brothers. Nurgle has gained ascendancy for now. Sure has. Cheeky boy. Uh, let's get this built, probably. No. 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 We're going to build a thing. I don't know what yet. That's it. Boop. Good. And we also want to build up this one. That's four grand. Oh, do I demolish one of these? I think I might demolish that so I can get more walls built. Because I do, I do need to make sure these are all built. Luckily, they're all quite cheap. Uh, and that, that I obviously want to get to tier two. Then I can build walls because I can't build walls at all yet. Uh, I say walls, you know, the garrison buildings. Eventually, it'll be walls, but you know, the garrison. You know what I mean? I know most of you are like, yeah, obviously, but you just, you know, there's some people to nitpick. You know there's some people out there. You know there's some people. 
So, uh, I know because they comment on my videos. So let's have a look at this. Uh, cultist camp sounds good. Get some more income from buildings and skulls per turn. Yum yum. Oh, actually, do you want to go over here? I can't afford that. I might wait for this so I can get the extra corn corruption in this area. I would like to spread it in this area because right now we're not getting any. Also, the Doom Eaters. This isn't even a proper army. It shouldn't just be sat here garrisoning. Let's get him out fighting things. Go on, mate. You need to you need to earn some money. Earn some favour. Good lad. There we go. Perfect. So we've got a flesh hound handler. Wiped out Ashling. That's another Norskin uh, um, faction wiped out. I don't think we're able to take out um Scaling? Sal. Sal. I don't think we're able to wipe out Sal with that army. That's more Sal, isn't it? Sure is. Alright, so, Iglixus Void Spawn is still loitering out here. Uh, do I want to just kamikaze these guys at him so I can have an economy again? I am quite tempted, but now, sadly, Scarbrand is in the wrong spot again. Um, for this sort of nonsense. But hey, if we can get this guy to run back home, we'll be laughing. That was not what I meant to do. I meant to have both of them in range. Silly. Uh, Pyrrhic Victory. Seriously? Oh my god. I don't want to wipe him out like this. Oh, that's rubbish. Um. I mean, I'd fight this, but this could be such a... Just, just this army sucks. I can't believe it's all Chaos Furies. This army's really bad. And it's Nurglings. I didn't even really look at it last time, because it's just like, I have a full stack, whatever. No, this sucks. It's awful. Alright, you know what? I can't be bothered to fight that. That's trash. Absolute trash. So there we go, we'll get rid of him, we'll get some more cash. Alright, so Glixus... Uh, Doomhat is is done. And now's Theodoric Gausser. Let's go chase him down, shall we? <laughs> I just want these guys to die. I just want to get rid of these armies already. Defeat the Demon Prince, which is such a shame that it's just a random army that gets that, you know? Alright, let's do that. Probably be enough to... Yeah, you know what? He's actually still getting some pretty good replenishment. But we got skulls, even with the loss, which is perfect. So there we go. We're getting a bunch of money now. We can carry on building stuff. But yeah, it's a shame that this is what we got for um, for dealing with him. It's a bit of a bit of a sad thing that we got it on a random, um, you know, kind of a non-combatant. Um, so I am tempted to leave these guys so I can get Scarbrand that trait, because I would like Scarbrand to have all the traits. That, that feels to me like that would complete the objective, you know? Bear Blades is really, ooh, injured though. I think I need to actually protect it for a second. So we're going to fight uh, Theodoric Gausser probably first, and we'll we'll wait for that guy to respawn and attack. It's, it's going to eat up some of our time, but he should come back maximum five turns. That is a lot of time, actually. I mean, I can go destroy that and come back, I suppose. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But I would like to collect all the traits. Because if we are going to play a campaign where we're trying to wipe out all of the legendary lords, I think getting Scarbrand, the you know, the uh, the points for that, I think would be quite cool. Really what I should have done is just not killed him. <laughs> I just can't believe we killed him. Um, I only thought of the trait afterwards. Maybe we'll just ignore it. I mean, it's, a, it's a pretty crappy trait anyway. I don't think any of this matters to us whatsoever. So never mind. But anyway, all that faith and slavish devotion didn't stop the demon prince from losing badly, on the day at least, to a general of vastly higher quality. Too right. Too right. Random guy. 36. You know, what was that? I couldn't even I couldn't even hear what he was saying. It was just ra 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 Russell Brand, that's all I heard. So that's all great. Uh, let's go over here, because I want to check on Blood Mountain. So Blood Mountain, we're still waiting. Still waiting for some more growth here. Uh, hang on, infinite. Oh, because we are actually upgrading that. Oh, we can upgrade Blood Mountain now. I want to upgrade Blood Mountain, because I want to get I want to get this thing. I want to get the uh, Machina Demonium built as quickly as possible. If the Fetid Catacombs get lost, so be it. So be it. Fetid may they be. Uh, so we still haven't got any of these other settlements by accident yet. I say by accident. You know, by chance, I suppose, is a better word for it. Chance rather than accident. Right. 
So, we have an unholy manifestation. Is that something I want to do? Do you want to throw an army at you? Uh, how are we looking? Progress will decay unless we do a battle this turn. In that case, let's do a battle this turn. Boop. Hello there, Vekal. And he's dead. Excellent. Uh, don't need the 1% replenishment, really, do I? Let's get a bit of extra cash. We can replenish anyway, so... And that gives us a little bit of extra movement. So let's do a little bit of extra movement. Sadly, not enough to actually get down here, but it'll do. Out of the Flesh Hound Handler. And some more experience. So, fueled by rage. Now, if we're below 50% uh, base hit points, then we are going to get an extra 25% uh, base and armor-piercing weapon damage, which is very cool. Love that. Uh, oh, yeah. Haunt. Haunt. Hunt. Haunt them. We're not dead. The plan is to not be dead. We're not haunting them. That is not the plan. Haunting is not the plan. Uh, so the Tower of Crack. Do I need to take this? One thing I realized, the only reason why I came to Norska at all was to defeat this one faction, and we've exterminated all of the Norskans. You know? And it's, it's basically just been done almost entirely by the random uh, blood hosts that we've summoned while just trying to keep morale up on the way here, which is obscene. It really is crazy. I, I love how this campaign plays out. It's so fun. And technology has been researched. Wonderful. Sadly, Theodoric Gausser isn't in March stance. So I won't be able to corner him, will I? He'll definitely be able to escape. That's a pity. I'd like to, I'd like to kill him. Ah, uh, no, he won't obey. That's the problem. Anyway, technology research. Though carnage is its own reward, if offered sufficient tribute to the Skull Throne, may on occasion... Hey, that's your name. Yeah, but th not really. Like, that's just... That's just words at the end of the day, right? It's just words. Like, that's not my surname. You know that, right? Well, yeah, I guess. Sorry. Grant unto us great tools of destruction. Our fury shall be augmented by legendary steel. Alright, let's do that then. Oh, good. Serpent Jetty. Finally. Finally, we got one. Uh, any others? Nope, but we did get a cult manifested in Fort Delgenier. Awesome. <gasps> Poxmakers of Nurgle. Oh, no way. That's a big deal. That gives us a, a, a means to take out the Poxmakers of Nurgle next. Ooh, 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 okay. Let's destroy this for a moment. Just for a moment. <laughs> All right, faction wiped out. Get out of my house. All right, this it, you're done. You're done. Blood for the blood god. I want another army here because I am about to leave. So I do need random armies kicking about here. At some point, we do need to get like another actual army. Okay, I know I keep saying that, but at some point we do need to do that. So anyway, um, due to high levels of corruption in the province, a cult has manifested itself in the settlement of Fort Dolgenier. Belonging to Pox Makers of Nurgle, strike now and construct a building here to reap the benefits. Will do. Will do, buddy. Will do. Uh, sadly, um, Urson is about to roar, so we do really need to wipe out that faction in an awful hurry. I don't even know if we'll be able to, but we'll certainly try. We'll try and wipe out Pox Makers of Nurgle, hop in a rift, get all the cool stuff from Korn, and then hop in a different rift to teleport to somewhere else that we want to cause a, you know, causal ruckus, alright? That's the plan. It does not leave us much time. But, actually, as long as we can get to where the Poxmakers of Nurgle are, and maybe destroy a settlement and occupy another, um, we can just summon a bunch of armies to help us fight, right? So, Scarbrand can swan off to, uh, to the realm of the Blood God, while the, the random armies he spawned can finish the job. Potentially, you know, provided we can actually kill Kugath, I think we'll be okay just letting uh, letting the random other armies do the job. So that's that's really what we're after. But, uh, oh, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be very exciting stuff. Uh, certainly once I've figured out what the hell we're going to do. Um, am I going to do Flesh Hounds of Corn? maybe? I mean, charge bonus isn't huge. Extra speed is useful, though. Maybe I will do this one. I'm tempted to Harbingers of Doom for the Minotaur stuff. And the Bloodthirster stuff, and the Soul Grinder stuff, because we will get that eventually, right? I mean, maybe. Um, 
It does help Chaos Furies out, which we may get a few of. You know, token ones. Uh, that does help Skull Cannons and Blood Shrines. I do like those. Extra armor for Blood Shrines is kind of nice, given how um, how low their melee defense is. But no, this is all a bit rubbish. Let's do Ferocious Hunters. Or, oh, you know what? Let's just get more weapon strength. Screw it. We're going to get all of this stuff, okay? Although, Kill for Corn is awesome. That'll actually boost folk nearby, and so we'll revel in slaughter. This is some good stuff, and I do want to get these leveled up. So I can get extra melee defense and physical resist for all those guys. Alright, we're doing Ferocious Hunters. I know, a lot of umming and ahhing. So, Cult Manifests. Uh, oh, let's do this as well. Hang on. Oh, Gate of Corn. We can summon some blood letters. Nice. Once we get this maxed out, uh, we can then get Greater Gate of Corn. Which allows us to summon a bloodthirster and a bunch of blood letters, which is awesome. That's why cultists are really cool. To be able to summon stuff like that. Oh, so good. So, Fort Dulgenye. Ian. <gasps> Ian survived. We defeated Ian earlier. We defeated him. Oh my god, that guy's name is Snaggle Fist Smasher. His name is Snaggle. I love it. So, Fort. Uh. Darko Wharf hasn't been taken yet, isn't that? On oh, Glutport belongs to Nurgle Rebels. Okay, hang on. How are you doing? Two settlements. Pogsmakers and Nurgles are doing terribly. Oh my god. That's amazing. Oh my god. I think we're gonna defeat this guy. I think we're gonna defeat this guy before um before we need to jet set off to corn. Well, maybe this one will suffer a bit, but. We can destroy that and hop in a rift next to him. Uh, unless Kugath jumps in a rift before we can do anything about it. But, I mean, it looks like we're going to defeat this faction. Ah, oh, so good. So, even the sturdiest of defences would struggle to withstand this warrior's attack. Sure it would. So now that I'm over here, can I chase down the Elder Gausser? I can certainly try, though I doubt he'll want to stay fighting. Because I may as well keep him moving until, um, you know, until, uh, until we get teleported across the map. Because that will happen. So we destroyed the Legion of Chaos. Legion of Chaos have been obliterated. There is nothing left apart from the echoing laughter of thirsting gods. Hee hee hee. Hee hee ho ho ho. Right, so we can't reach you, but that's okay. He's suffering attrition. Just generally, he sucks. Um, his name's Theodoric. Like, it's not, you know, we can't. We can't help that. Uh, ooh. Yes. More of that, please. Anything else we can get? Uh, I mean, a few things. There's so much stuff we can upgrade. Like, all over the place. We just haven't had the money. Which is surprising. I thought we had plenty of money, but apparently not. Uh, ooh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. We got the Machina Demonium. Yeah, we do. And now we can upgrade the Fetid... Uh, Fetid Catacombs? Fet fetid Catacombs. So that's nice. So we spent all our money. And now, uh, now that we're here, right, at this point of the campaign... I'm thinking things are a bit too simple for us. I feel like the enemies could be fielding better and larger or more armies. And I think the problem is our campaign um, difficulty is too low. So I'm going to put it up. Okay, this is the episode where we put that up. So, uh, let's bloodthirst attrition. I'm pretty sure that's the attrition caused by our blood hosts uh, running out of time, basically. Ooh, that's quite nice to get more summons of beyond... Uh, summoned from beyond. That's fun, too. It's a lot of fun stuff, actually. Extra income from buildings. Just 10% extra income is good. Especially because we are about to ruin our income. By doing... This. There we go. There it is. I found it. Boom. And now our income is much lower. It hasn't changed. Background income is still 5,000. 5,000? I'm sure it's 4,000. Interesting, it's 5,000. Okay, and then what's the, what's the, is it 2,500? Or is it 3,500? I'm pretty sure it's 15,000 less. Uh, but that hasn't changed yet. I think it'll update next turn. We'll probably see our income drop like a, I don't know, a, a broken lift. A backwards lift. A lift, but it's, it's backwards. So it's supposed to lift you, but it goes down instead. Makes perfect sense. Uh, I'm also going to do the Skull Throne now. Because I like it. Also, we got this mission successful. Holy cow, we got a bunch of of fun things. That's cool. Okay, so, um... The blood god's thirst for skulls cannot be quenched. I'm pretty sure it just was, mate. 
And we actually got skulls for giving him skulls, which is weird. Also, a bunch of extra favor, so we can carry on building. We got, uh, you know, we'll, we'll read all these as we get them. The mad mage Makar's plans to lure demons to his service eventually went awry. Though the glyph has been seen many times since, its creator seems to have vanished. So the porter glyph lets us actually summon in Chaos Furies, which I think is really cool. That's really fun. Uh, charmed shield. The front of the shield depicts a warrior being blessed by a nameless lady. Its wielder gains protection from the sigil, especially against foes armed with missiles. So charm shield is pretty good. Extra uh, damage resistance and a missile block chance. You've got to have it active, of course. Um, you know, it's an active thing, only lasts of 17 seconds, so it's a bit of a funny one. But it's okay. Icon of Endless War is Vigor per second if you're in melee. Interesting. So it keeps you, um, keeps you from tiring. That's really nice, actually. I really like that. And it's a, it's a banner. So that's actually something we can give to, um, give to Scarbrand, which I like. This brass standard constantly drips blood, the smell of which quickly drives all of Korn's followers mad with battle lust. Sure it does. An obsidian lodestone. The lodestone of pure obsidian contains many dark jinn, imprisoned by a sultan sorcerer whose name is lost to time. It is a powerful anti-magic artifact. I mean, spell resistance is very, uh, very classic. And the skull throne. You have called upon the blood god and he has heard your cry. Let the bloodshed commence. Yeah, all right. Let's, uh, let's commence it muchly. Um, let's get... Do I need to care about the seduce units thing? Not really, though it is nice to have the extra corn corruption as we run around. That's a banner, that's a banner. That gives us more money. I think we're getting rid of Drillmaster. I don't think I need the extra 7% experience. It's just not that big a deal. So more Endless War, please. And, uh, let's see. So enchanted items. Oh, help if I was in the right, uh thing. So spell resistance is quite nice, but the ward save is just better. Uh, the portoglyph. Okay, that actually goes in the potion strength slot, which is quite nice. I'm going to give that to this guy, though. This guy is going to be able to summon furies, blood letters, and a bloodthirster when we're done. How cool is that? He'll just be able to summon stuff constantly. It's going to be sick. That's going to be really cool. He's going to be a really interesting guy. You know? He really makes up for his... Uh, uh, exuberance. So, yeah, we're going to teleport away. Theodore Gauser may just occupy random ruins and things. He may just ruin, <laughs> ruin our ruinous fun. But uh, I honestly don't care if if all of what's happened in Norska is we wiped out that one dude and Norska just gets taken by a bunch of other factions. I don't really care. You know, it doesn't really bother me. Um, I was never trying to conquer Norska. I was just trying to kill that one dude. Uh, hello, you. Who are you? Ungol Kindred. Interesting. That means that, um, what's his face? Isn't doing particularly well. There's still random factions kicking around. It's a bit ridiculous. What's his name? You know, thingy. Kastelton. Kastelton. Uh, we also just met Clan Helhein over here, apparently. That's fun. That's fun. Uh, meeting dwarfs. Alright, let's build some more things. Oh, that'll do. It was in front of me, so I built it. Now, let's see what happens to our income. Oh, after the Doom Eaters, Walt's over here. Yeah, they're not really doing anything anymore. I might just get rid of them. I feel like their job here is done. Uh, settlement receives plague. Oh, yay. Hang on, Blood Mountain? Really? Oh my god, of course, because we're neighbouring these jerks. What kind of plague is it, I wonder? Is it a bad one? Uh, summons Nurglings and Nurgle Corruption. I mean, that's fine, honestly. That doesn't that doesn't bother me. You guys knock yourself out, okay? We'll just have to learn how to fight with a cold. That's absolutely fine by me. So, uh, our settlement, Blood Mountain, has received a plague from the settlement cliff of beasts belonging to Septic Claw. Sure have. <gasps> Hooray! Ultra Spawns is ours. Nice. It's about time, I say. It's about time. Drawn by the scent of blood and smoke, your minions have infested the ruins of the Altar of Spawns, and the settlement is yours to control. Also in Icedrake Fjord, and the Foul Fortress. Wow. Love this. This is great. All the places. Good to see it. And our income is woeful right now. Woeful. But, 
up quite a bunch of new places. Ice Strike Fjord, I can't even... <laughs> can't even level up. Okay, fine. Let, uh... Mm, Alright, Troll Fjord is going to have to wait. That, okay, maybe not. Apparently that's dirt cheap. Never mind then. Alright, let's do that. Uh, I'm going to go earn some money. So, you run over here. And... So the problem is, I really need some more skulls. And yes, we do do the quest battle. Remember, I still have the same army as I did before. Okay. This is no better than it, than it was before. Oh, this is a bit annoying. I can't get over to this side of the the river. Um, so we have to move through here. But hey, let's declare a war. Hello, Kugath. Hey there, buddy. Uh, so finally, a nice battle against... The forces of Nurgle. I think we're going to fight this, because we haven't yet. Uh, vigor per second. I want to make sure this guy stays vigorous. Because he's just going to be, you know, just grinding through enemies all day. So that's his job. Just to sit there and keep fighting. He's not going to do a lot of damage. I need that sustain. You know, I need that sustain with him. But, uh, yeah, this army's awesome. This army, not so much. <laughs> Should be good. They do have spellcasters, though. You know, Lord of Death. And Lord of Death, interesting. So yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of death in this Lord of Death. I mean, lowering armor isn't a big deal, but lowering damage is. I don't like that. And just direct damage. Well, we can do damage fairly directly, you know. Scarbrand can just wade through everyone and murder everybody. So I think we'll be okay. Let's do it. All right. So let's have a look. Boop. And, yeah, that's all good. Um, so interesting to see this is just a Kislev settlement. Because this is definitely broken. This is definitely not supposed to be the case. It just dawned on me, we are nowhere near Kislev. <laughs> okay, I found a bug. I found a bug, guys. Um, this isn't supposed to be the case at all. We're in the heart of the Chaos Wastes. And uh, it's just a random Kislev settlement. That's... That really, that has really taken me uh, off guard. That's very strange. Okay, well, fine. Uh, we're going to send a bunch of troops that way and a bunch that way. It's, we're going to keep it simple. All right. In you get, lads. In you get. Perfect. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, this is very weird. This is very peculiar. Very peculiar indeed. Uh, so, I can summon just, oh, so much stuff. I love it. This is so cool. I love that I can do that. Having a bunch of summons on a cultist is very fun. Okay, go kill those plague toads. Let everyone kill the plague toads. It's plague toad hunting season, okay? Rawr! Um, as well the sort of anti-heroes. I'll get it back in a second. Alright, you can charge in over there. I'll summon them on top of them. And we should be breaking through here fairly soon, but they are just sort of throwing random nonsense at us, which is a bit of a pity. Um, yeah, you guys are just going to get a bit caught on this stuff, aren't you? Yeah, it's, you know, such is life, I suppose. So we killed a lot of toads. Such is life. Killed a lot of toads. Uh, Alright, where are you? Where are you at? Oh, here you are. Wow, you're quick. Okay, let's summon um, them. And Gator Corn. Alright, more of these. <laughs> wow, look at that! How cool is that? Big fan. Alright, go attack those rock flies. Uh, things are looking okay over here, but these hounds are struggling a bit, so I'm going to pull them out of the fight. God, this is awesome. Love this. Just pouring in, a bunch of new demons being summoned. In the middle of Kislev. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Uh, right, we need to get Scarbrand over here, but first I need to, I guess I need to capture that to destroy all the towers, right? So let's keep pushing on through this way. We may really be in the thick of things before we get to destroy these barricades and towers and stuff. I mean, it seems that we're holding quite well, though. So maybe it's not that big a deal. Oh, we're definitely getting a bit. A bit, a bit. You know. We're in a big pile. Luckily they don't have any like 
uh, sort of uh, area of effect abilities. All their spells are just direct damage, so it doesn't matter how much we blow up like this. I guess except that something just exploded. I'm pretty sure just the towers are being a problem. So maybe I shouldn't be doing this because of the towers. But it depends on what kind of towers they have. But I definitely saw like a pop there. Which uh, I wasn't prepared for. I, I assumed it would just be, yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's like a mortar going off. Damn. Okay, I was expecting like pew pew. But then I haven't really fought much Nurgle before. Certainly not in their settlements. You know, I fought a million Nurgle armies. Because you know what Nurgle armies are like. Uh, okay. Let's fight you. Let's fight this jerk. That's right. Step closer. Huh. Hi there. Alright, let's kill this uh, tally master. This plague-ridden tally master of death. You know, have have more titles. I dare you. Alright, go chase them down. Looks like we're actually done here. That's good news. Get some weird things happening with the pathfinding there. But, the, like, the, the... The glyphs? Is that the word for it? I don't know. Little patterns on the ground to signify the pathfinding. It's going a bit funky. You know, the lines are wiggling out all over the place. It looks like we've basically got this sorted now, though. So that's about to get destroyed, I'm sure. Yeah. So we'll go attack them. So really, it's just these plague bearers and um, these guys up there, really. These guys are almost handled. So, okay. Mad damage, go crazy. Uh, 1.7k damage, go nuts. And have higher melee attack, because 116 isn't enough. <laughs> oh, is that? Oh, that. Oh, 140. 140 melee attack, 1.7k damage. It's quite good. Yeah, there we go. Jobs are good. Jobs are good. Take that, Nurgle. You numpty. Good stuff. Oh, 1.8k damage. It got even higher somehow. Close victory. Alright. Good stuff. Uh, so, let's... Hmm. So, I, I would like more skulls, but we don't actually need to keep any of the territory in this area. Like, at all. We just need to wipe out the Poxmakers and Nurgle and be on our way. So, actually, I think I'm going to go blood for the blood god here. Brilliant. Cornate familiar. Good. So what's the army like? Not bad. Not bad. That's a that's a pretty good army. Uh, do we attack random stuff? If we go up here, we're going to find Kairos Fate Weaver, and I think that might be where I'll go. Uh, I think I'll go up there. So let's see. We've wiped out Nikari. There's one settlement over there. We've wiped out Kugath. Kairos is in, within reach, but we are about to be able to rift hop places. So we have to decide who we are going to wipe out next. I'm not sure who, honestly. I'm really not sure who. We have people within spitting distance of Kislev now, because we've taken over Norska by accident. Um, so we don't necessarily need to use a rift there. We can probably just train an army or two to sail across to them and, and deal with them, you know? Um, so I, I think maybe one of the ogres... Uh, I don't really want to attack Cathay via Rift, because I'd quite like to attack the Great Bastion. I think that would be really fun, to actually attack the Great Bastion and take it down. Because I haven't done that yet. I haven't done that before in this game. So I think it'd be really fun. Uh, let's make our doggos better. Good. Uh, for you... Uh, God, one more turn. One more turn, one more level, and we can get immortality. Um... I really, I really hope we can get that soon, because um, I'd really, I'd really hate to lose any of these heroes at this point. Uh, Gate of Corn. So now we have two summons. Amazing. Okay, so yeah, I have to just go across the river here, which is very annoying. So I need to get like over here, right? That's a bit of a problem. So let's let's see actually. Where are Poxmakers and Nurgle? Poxmakers and Nurgle are, yeah, right here, or right here, thereabouts. Um, so yeah, we. Mm, this is gonna take a little longer than I'd like, I think. But let's start heading there. Let's start heading that way. 
not oh, have you seriously not crossed the river yet? Or have you crossed the river? Oh, maybe he has? No. No, not yet. Well, that's a pain. Alright, and you'll attack something. I don't know. Maybe I'll have him go up that way. Hmm. We fight Darius. Or we can take uh, Karak Dub, which... Oh, there's Gilbert Helhein. Hello, Gilbert. He doesn't think so, but I know he's there. I can see him. Alright, well, we're making progress, guys. We are making brilliant progress. I say that, actually. What did we do this turn? We teleported over this turn, this episode. We teleported across the map. We have done a lot of building, though. A lot of construction projects are underway, which I feel uh, a lot more secure about. So that's nice. Big fan of that. Uh, ooh, yeah, we should probably upgrade one of these. Fortress of the Damned. Um, it doesn't really matter. Probably not. Let's do the, the Chasm of Torment. It's nice and central. Sounds lovely. Okay, good. How's Infernius doing, by the way? We can actually level that up if I just had the money. So I do need to do that. Because I really do need to get access to better units. Though we're only on turn 32, which is kind of crazy. God, I feel like we are absolutely blitzing this campaign right now. I'm going to put the difficulty up, though. I think that will make it more interesting. We are about to lose all of our money. I just realised. Uh, this I can take quite happily. Hang on, can you reset this turn? No, you can't. So I won't declare war now. But we should be able to attack that next turn. And take that. Which is nice, because we do have the Forbidden uh, Citadel over there as well. So we should be able to get that. Provided Skaven don't hop into it. That really is the problem. It's really the Skaven hopping into it. That's the problem. Uh, oh, and the Doom Eaters haven't done anything, have they? Oh, that's annoying. Okay, what are you going to do? Because you kind of are awful. Um... I'll have him run up here. You head to Black Gulch. We might be able to kill the Skaven. Not with this army, but like, you know, with that army and uh, this army. Once I've destroyed that, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But anyway, uh, we're at the end of the episode. But God, we are absolutely blitzing through this. I'm astounded by how well we've done. So, good old Scarbrand. He's having a whale of a time. And he's just blocking the river with his... <laughs> with his axes, so he could step across. It's very clever. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.